Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Dean Vera and today we'll talk about the Molito parking rules for bicycles. Is it legal? Welcome back. As you know, aside from being a law school dean, I'm also a lawyer and a cyclist. Back in the day, as you can see from pictures here, I used to be an avid cyclist. Recently, Molito, a restaurant establishment area um, in Alabang, is starting to charge bicycles or bicycle riders or cyclists a parking fee of 20 pesos. I will show you a copy of the ticket here. First, is it legal? Technically, yes, because Molito, the area there, is a private establishment. And you can limit, restrict, or filter those who can enter the area, whether it be a car, a motorcycle, or a bicycle. Now, as I said a while ago, it is quite disappointing to say it's legal, but is it fair? Looking at the ticket, they call itself Molito Car Park, not Molito Bicycle Park, not Molito Vehicle Park, Molito Car Park. So by itself, you cannot charge for bicycles because it's a car park. In the ticket, they are charging here for bicycles and two-tier system for motorcycles. One for 400cc and up and one for 400cc below. But you look at the top of the ticket, I'll show a picture again here, it doesn't say it's charging for cars. It says for casual parkers. What is that? Nevertheless, it's still called a car park. Now, if they want to charge bicycle riders or cyclists a parking fee, you have to give them a appropriate share of what a car gets. A car gets a solo parking slot or parking spot inside Molito. If you're going to charge the cyclists, the bicyclists, you're going to have to give them a solo parking spot. Let's say if a car is given uh, a spot for 40 pesos, you should give a cyclist half of that spot for 20 pesos. Secondly, under the terms and conditions of the rear of the ticket, it considers what they can charge as vehicles. So they, they now categorize those who enter or those they charge as vehicles. Under the Land Transportation Act or the LTO Act, it only covers motorized vehicles meaning there is no registration system for bicycles. In fact, even the latest memorandum circular uh, of the LTO regards to bicycle lanes categorized bicycles separate from non-motorized transports or light mobility vehicle. So, in effect, the LTO does not recognize bicycles as a vehicle for registration or to be regulated. I understand what Malito is doing. They have to earn as much revenue as they can. But if you're going to charge cyclists, you're going to deny the establishments, the restaurants, the revenue they're going to get from cyclists. Cyclists are going to spend 160 pesos for their tall cafe mocha. They're going to spend over 200 pesos just to have pancakes. But as a matter of principle, if you're going to charge them 20 pesos to bring their bicycle inside, they're going to go somewhere else and spend that money instead of spending it in Molito. It is a dangerous slippery slope if you're going to charge bicycles. What's next? Are you going to charge strollers? Are you going to charge wheelchairs? I hope not. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It'll help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.